Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I happen to be a people watcher. I'm probably because I majored in drama. You can tell I'm a drama queen. But anyway, I watch people. I watch mannerisms. I watch body English. I watch facial expressions and language of the eyes. And a lot of times, people speak what they don't say if you watch. Now, I have seen where there are some people, and, and maybe some of you, who have no ability to empathize, which means you can't relate to another person's feelings. You can only relate to your own. Their feelings don't matter to you. Only yours do. And you may tend to have a narcissistic side where, in essence, when you get into a room, everyone else's conversation, everyone else's interests pale in comparison to what pertains to you. Because you are so intriguing in your own eyes. While other people, when they see you coming, they know, okay, here we go. It's going to be all about so-and-so now. I'm not going to get a word in edgewise. And you will find that you might wonder why sometimes people don't invite you as often as they used to. You need to ask God to help you see you through the eyes of others. That is a great, great tool. I am telling you that has helped me a lot. Hurt my feelings but it helped me a lot. And when you are willing to see, when you're willing to grasp what God is showing you and humble yourself, excuse me, to the point where you are willing to try to do something about it, you will grow in leaps and bounds. And the people that once didn't want to be bothered with you will see the change and they will gravitate. Now, I say that because there are so many people out there. Let me give you a, a real case scenario. I, when I was in the hospital last year, for the first time in my life, one of my friends came to visit me. She was sharing about her family dynamics. She came to visit me and comfort me. But I could also tell, you know, when you're a minister, you're a minister whether you're sick or well. And I could tell she was burdened by something. So I started asking her about it, and she opened up and she poured her heart out, and she was sharing some very deep, serious issues that not many people can handle. And she was trying to keep her strength up, and we prayed about it, and we were talking about it, and kind of and analyzing things together. And someone else came to visit me, and this someone came in, now, let me stop there. If I had come into the room because I read faces, if I had seen something serious was going on, I would have said, okay, good, you got company. I'm going to go make a quick run. I'll be back later on because I got to do this anyway, but I do want to keep you company. So you guys do what you're doing and I'll see you later. I would have gone. I would have gone to the cafeteria, I would have gone sat in my car, whatever. Because I could see in their eyes there was something real serious going down. And I knew if I came in it would have shut it right down because they didn't know me like they knew each other. Okay. This person, and some of us have this problem, had no clue. No clue. They were totally clueless about the issue that was in the atmosphere, the expression on the face. Her face was burdened when that person walked in the door. It was heavy. You could see it. It was written all over her. And this person was so clueless. They came in. Hey, how you doing? Blah, 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 blah. And they just literally took over the whole conversation and blew everything out the window that was taking place at that moment. Now, 
the reason I didn't fuss about it afterwards is because I know this person is totally clueless to that characteristic. And they would not have even been able to, it, it would not have even been able to compute after I described the whole thing. They wouldn't have gotten it. They would have felt criticized, put upon, and hurt. But they wouldn't have gotten it. Number one, because they're not saved. Number two, they don't have the Holy Spirit to reveal things to them because they're not saved. And number three, because they're narcissistic and they don't know it. As a result, we tried to wait it out till the person left. They weren't going anywhere. So the lady who was really hurting had to just get up and go and leave everything dangling in midair. We couldn't continue. We have to ask God to show us ourselves because you'd be surprised how many born-again Christians tend to be narcissistic as well. We have to be very careful not to disregard other people, not to discount the importance of the moment when it doesn't involve us. We have to be careful not to dismiss. I am telling you, we have to be sensitive. And if you know you're not sensitive to others, ask God to make you. He will. All right. Food for thought when you're interacting with others. 